Welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. Let us observe female specification of this cataracta nigra. We can see this is a rock hard black cataract, nuclear sclerosis in grade 6 and I am going to do submarine job in this case. This is the main wound with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratom on the posterior aspect of the limbus. And now a side port is made on the left side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away. And now I am going to stain the anterior capsule with tripan blue dye to get some contrast during capsular excess. An air bubble has been injected beneath this air bubble tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule. A bit of adrenaline is used to maintain the dilatation of the pupil. And now the dye is washed out. And now is the time to fill up the anterior chamber with a visco and I am going to use 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. Methyl cellulose is applied over the cornea for better visibility. And now I am going to do capsular axis. First I take a cystitome, incise the capsule and erase a capsular tag. And now I take the uterata forceps, hold on some more visco. Now I take the uterata forceps, hold this capsular tag, go anticlockwise and I am going to do a large rexus going to go along the border of the pupil to get an adequate size trexis of about 5.75 millimeter. The antechamber has become shallow at this time. I inject some more visco, take the uterator again and do the erexis. Done. So we have done an adequate sized capsular excess. Hydrodissection is done at multiple points, small aliquots of BSS is injected and the nucleus is tapped. Some more visco and I am going to bimanually rotate this huge nucleus. Again visco and now is the time to introduce the FECO handpiece. Before that I am going to enlarge the main wound just by a very small cut. This is to ensure that there is enough leakage of bases through the main wound so that the tissue remains cool and there is no wound burn. Now I am going to expose the tip of the FECO needle to about 2.5 millimeter or 3 millimeter so that I can apply more ultrasonic energy within the substance of the nucleus. And now I am going to do submarine job. This part of the video, the nucleus management part is unedited and it is real time. Some superficial cortical lens matter is being removed by the uh, FECO needle with its bevel down. And now I turn the handpiece and make the bevel up. And now watch submarine job. The tip is buried just in front of the main wound and then the tip travels through the substance of the nucleus as the submarine moves through water. And as I reach near the opposite equator, I use the chopper to get a nice crack, multi-level cracking and now I rotate the nucleus 180 degree and separate the two heminuclei completely. And now I am going to divide each heminucleus into three pieces. This is one piece, then I go through this large fragment and divide this. Thus this heminucleus has been divided into three fragments. And now I come to the other heminucleus, get own piece here. The principle is same, the fecone needle goes through the substance of the nucleus near the equator 
and the chopper is used to divide the nucleus. And here it is. I have got six pieces out of this very hard nucleus. And now let me tell you the settings. Ultrasonic energy is set at 90%. This is Faro's from Oatly. So ultrasonic energy is set at 90% and at in continuous mode. And I am using the foot switch to get adequate amount of energy. The ultrasound is in linear mode. So whatever ultrasonic energy is required, I apply that. Uh, the power is, I told, uh, 90% and flow rate is 48 ml per minute. Vacuum is 480 mm of mercury. Care is taken to maintain the antechamber depth all the time. And this is the last piece. At this time, I detach the epinucleus and use it as a contact lens to protect the posterior capsule. see this, the capsule has been detached and it is protecting the posterior capsule, this one. And now once the nucleus is removed with a lower vacuum, about 400 millimeter of mercury vacuum, this epinuclear shell is removed. Some visco now to maintain the anterior chamber and I am going to use this beautiful instrument, a 23 gauze Simco cannula to remove cortex. This is not a patented instrument of surgeons who do SICS. We, the FECO surgeons also can use it. This is a very safe instrument and Control is in our hands. We can apply very gentle vacuum. The side port is small. I could not go through the side port. And there is some sub incisional cortex. And I am planning to make another side port at 7 o'clock. So, this is the side port the posterior aspect of the limbus and here goes the some more visco and now I am going to take the uh, you know the side port on the left side is also, also enlarged a bit and now I am going to use the 23G Simco again to remove the cortex from 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 10 o'clock. becomes very easy to remove this cortex of this area uh, from a 7 o'clock side port. Now I go through the left side port and remove the cortex from 6 o'clock to 10 o'clock. Visco again, the people has come down to about 5 millimeter or 4.5 millimeter and I am going to Im implant uh, an intraocular lens. The main wound has been enlarged to about 3.1 millimeter and here goes the intraocular lens. This is a beautiful lens from Johnson & Johnson. This is Technis 1. The lens goes in the capsular back. And now a very important step, cleaning of visco. I am checking whether the haptics are in the bag. Yes, it is in the bag. And now, this is the 23G Simco. It is being used to uh, remove visco. First, I irrigate. Uh, irrigate. There is irrigation and also through the aspirating port, some amount of BSS is, ir is irrigated in the anterior chamber and in the capsular bag going behind the intraocular lens. Yes, we must go behind the intraocular lens and we must not allow uh, any visco to get trapped behind the eye well. 
if any visco gets trapped behind the eye well it causes raised intraocular pressure i am using the bimanual ia to remove the visco again uh, from behind the lens and now is the time to close the surgery moxie at this time and now I close the side port and then a final lavage is done with the Simco again. At this time any visco that sticks to the corneal endothelium comes out. See the wound, there is no wound burn and the wound is not stressed and the wound is nicely sealed. Here we conclude the case. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. It will encourage you to use this beautiful technique, the submarine job technique to divide the rock hard nuclei. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, compassion and great surgical competence.